Alrighty guys, this is Snugs on Blitz and I'm back with another video for you today. Season 3 just dropped uh, two days ago, I think it is, when I'm making this video. And with it, three new tanks came into the game, starting with the Silencer at Tier 7. I must say that the first two seasons tanks were pretty bleh, if you ask me. You're free to disagree, but I just felt they were pretty lazy. However, this time, Wargaming has given us two interesting tanks, if you ask me. The Tier 7 and the Tier 9. The Tier 8, not so much. Anyway, what's the problem with these tanks? Well, if you didn't know by now, once you've gotten the tank, you've got a heck of a road ahead of you to get it fully upgraded. Much more than the Tech Tree tanks, which is crazy if you ask me. The same thing for Tier 8 and Tier 9. And if you don't use gold you won't be able to finish upgrading all these tanks. It takes quite a lot of gold. How much gold, you ask? That's a good question. Let's zoom all the way to the end here and click on it. And I don't have enough gold. I have 48 freaking thousand gold and I can't get all three tanks right now. That is insane. So, so will I be picking up these tanks? Well, I will be picking up this tank, the silencer, absolutely free. I'm just going to have to grind it. It's going to take me a little bit of time, but I think it's worth it. But as for the tier 8 and tier 9, sorry, too rich for my blood. The good news is one of my buddies decided to sell an internal organ or two and was able to get them all ready and has managed to send me over some replays for us to look at. I mean, the tier 8 is just a copy paste of the AMX 1390. It doesn't really appeal to me, I'd much rather play the tech tree tank. The uh, reload mechanism's really annoying. That 20 second for that third shell. No. Now this tank, though, I must admit, does look the business. I'd love to pick up this tank. It's a copy paste of the tier 8 put in tier 9. Am I a bit bummed? Sure. But there are other tanks that I want more than this, so I'll save my gold for that. Anyway, my buddy sent over three replays, starting off with the tier 7. So... Let's dig in and see what it's capable of. Look in the lineups, and I'm actually in this game with my buddy. As you can see, I'm the BZ58. They have a platoon of Smashers, a T28 prototype, a Yo, a J Panther 2, a Caliban, and a Pajetto 46. They have, well, a great lineup, and we don't. <laughs> I mean, that's just the short of it. We have a T28, which is positional. We have an AFK tank here now, but I do not want to deal with two Smashers, a T-28, and a J-Panther, as well as a Caliban. Those guns can absolutely rip me and my buddy apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over here and see what I can do. Okay, thankfully our team has decided to stay together. There's our first target. Okay, can my buddy punish him? Yes, he can indeed. Lovely shot there. So we're on the board. I have swung all the way around. Haven't found a single thing yet. So my buddy is going to take the sniper position here. It's just got to be careful because one Caliban shot, one Smasher shot could absolutely ruin his day in this tank. We've also got that AFK still. So that is very, very bad news. But this Smasher is not doing well. It would be nice to pick him off if we could. As you can see, this gun has two shells, very much like a G-Sore in Tier 7. It's a tank I would like to get. I'm just going to wait until I've earned it for free. It's going to take a while, but I'm in no rush. Okay, so far so good. Now, I found the Progetto 46 over there. Thankfully, he doesn't have much armor and he doesn't have much support, so I can go to work on him. He should rip me apart because I'm pretty much by my lonesome, as you can see on the mini-map. I'm just careful that I don't push in too far. And here comes the projector. Here he comes. And my buddy's covering me. Lovely stuff. So one shot, two shots. Oh! So that's good news. Unfortunately, he took a nasty hit there, so that's not good news. But so far, so good. We've taken out one of their tier eights. And the question is, will we be able to get rid of that smasher? I mean, he's low health, come on guys. Okay, instead we decide to let them kill our Skoda. Not great news. He's one of our armored beasts. 
the good news is our AFK did finally wake up. And he's there in front of us. T28, not the best position here. I mean, he's got shots coming at him from all different angles, and he's going to get ripped apart pretty quickly, I would imagine. Likewise with the other tank there. Okay, that smasher's a one-shot. And I'm telling my t my buddy, <laughs> we'd love to get rid of that smasher. Can we get rid of him, somebody? I'm trying to keep these guys lit up without getting their full attention. So I'm just kind of swinging around the mini-map, making myself low-key. Fortunately, he doesn't, or he's not able to pen that shot, but he does pen this shot. Takes a hit in return. So, so far, so good. Again, that smasher's still sitting there surviving with like 20 health if somebody could hit him that'd be really good i'm trying my best to swing around but he's just staying hidden and he's playing really well nicely done so we've taken the lead six to four things are looking good t28's a one shot though and there goes one of our tanks my buddy's pushing in here he's got to be careful can he get a nice sneaky shot one shot, nice. Unfortunately, can't get the other one. Can he? Can he? Can he? Uh, ricochet. There goes the T28. Unsurprising. And you can see I'm trying to distract their smasher to keep him out of the battle. I can take at least one hit. I think I've done just that. I just need. Uh, my buddy isn't able to pen that shot, unfortunately, but I think he'll get the second one. He's just got to be really careful. And that guy's gone. So that's nice. Three versus two. And now we've got this thing in the bag because he's gone. Yeah, 3v1. I punished the smasher, but now I'm a goner. My buddy's going to push in here. He's getting his reload ready. We also have a 53 TP who is mightily healthy. All he has to do is march on in and absolutely rip the shredder, uh, smasher to shreds. Nice shot in here. Lovely stuff. And he doesn't take a hit in return. But the 53TP has decided to mosey along and miss his first shot. Luckily, my buddy avoids that shell. Okay, he's pushing in hard. I'm like, 53, what's going on, bud? Come on. Believe me, he missed by a mile. Now, the Smash is doing a great job keeping himself far away, giving him time to reload. I do tell my buddy to be careful I'm not sure we can trust our 53 TP to finish him off, but no big deal. So, a nice little game from my buddy there. What did he end up with? 3,000, and he got a mastery as this tank was very, very new, so lucky him. So despite them having an absolutely stacked team, we were able to pull out the victory. No thanks to our fixer or T28. Anyway, moving on to the tier eight. Looking at the lineups, I give my buddy's team the edge. They have an Emil II and a Tromwagen, both very strong hull down tanks. Let's see what happens though. Okay, now the mediums and lights are heading over this way to A cap, which is a wise decision if you ask me. And the heavies are going to D. Can work, let's see what happens. Thankfully, the enemy team has probably split up as well as you have someone on C cap. So is there anybody over here? Aha, there is indeed. So the question is, how many team how many tanks have gone which way? We've got one over there and oh whoa 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 we've got four over here. That's not good news. But this guy's sitting in the freaking open. Thank you very much. One shell and two shells. Not sure why he didn't fire right away. Maybe he didn't want to give his position away. And he didn't fire that third shell. That's what you've got to remember in this tank. You can fire one shell, two shells, but the third shell you do not want to use unless you want to absolutely destroy your DPM or you've got no tanks near yet. Uh-oh, we have a bit of a problem here. There are five tanks over here and two tanks over there versus my buddy's four here. So. And one tank's decided to push him pretty aggressively around the back. Will it pay off? So far, so good, but I think he's going to be in a little bit of trouble. What have we got here? Hello. Nice shot in there. And he just fired, so... Can he get the second shell to reload in time? I think he can, so this guy is not going to 
enjoy this decision. Yep, he is gone. Nicely done. Unfortunately, that tank that flanked around over there, the Pajero 46, is getting absolutely ripped apart. But he's not dead, and that makes all the difference because that means they're spending time to focus him and giving other tanks free shots. Like my buddy. Now he's going to go for the reload. At least I would. 6 before Things are looking good, but they do have three bases. So we got to keep that in mind. What is going on? There we go. Can you get a shot? He's waiting. He's waiting. Yes. Nice. Sometimes you just lure them in. Give them a false sense of security. They can't get out of dodge, which is nice. And he's going for the one shot, which is the wise decision. But unfortunately, it's taking a lot of time to get there. And unfortunately, it took him way too long to do that. So that's just wasted time. It gives my buddy time to get around and get rid of this guy. Five versus two. Things are looking good. But again, they've got those three bases. Just got to keep that in mind. Okay. They're going for the T-5041. Naturally, I mean, he is a tier nine tank. Always get rid of the higher tier tanks if possible, unless you know someone's a really good player. It makes more sense. Can he get the shot? He can't quite do it. He's just going to wait. Oh, yeah. One more shell. Come on. Come on. He's waiting. Nope. He went for it. Why? Because he knows he can finish him off. So nicely done. And now it's 4v1. It's all over. They've gotten two bases back, but... It won't be necessary because once he's got a reload here, he'll be able to pick him off. Easy peasy. He's pushing in. As you can see, he can tell that he's going to have his shell ready. And waiting for a second one just to guarantee it. And why bother? Yes, one. <laughs> you see? He tracked him. And he finishes him off with the second shell. A very nice game. Didn't make himself the target. Didn't fire that third shell unless he had to or knew he could pick off a tank. Very well played, 3,500. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen, in this tank, if you ask me, the Swindler. Okay. Of course, he was top damage. Got the mastery, mil 2, not bad. T-5041, nice job. Progetto, yeah, swinging around like that, not a good idea. Anyway, moving on to the last game in the Tier 9. They have a grill, a KPC-70, the BZ-100, BZ-75. I think I give the edge to my buddy's team again. They've got the Maotian to absorb shots. They've got an E100, can do the same. Both pretty dangerous guns. They've got a 183. Depending on the positioning of the tanks, I think they should have this in the bag. Okay, the 263, very strong tank. As long as the guy knows what he's doing. Okay. As he's lower tier, the advantage is you have more hit points to chew through. When you're playing lower tier, uh, you don't have as many hit points, to, so you can't do as much damage. So, I mean, people always complain about being lower tier, but it doesn't really bother me. Yeah, I don't want to play every game lower tier, but um, they've lost their first tank. So, 183 was a real genius. Two shots in there, that's nice, and he's going for the reload. Here comes the E100. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's trying to get the heck out of there. And now they could even the playing field if they push in here. He's almost on his reload. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, come on. Come on. Yep, he can do it. Oh, I can't quite finish him off. One more shot, one more shot. Nice. So there you go. So despite losing the 183 in seconds, all he had to do was sit back. They, okay, unfortunately, have lost a second tank, but this E100 is pushing hard and heavy, and there's no tanks here, so it looks like he's going to be able to walk on up and finish this guy off as well. Benefits of having two shells. Here comes the first shell. Ooh, ricochet, unfortunately, and he takes a hit for his trouble, but... Okay. 4v5. Got to be careful of the grill over here. One shell. Aiming in. Nice. Oh, the grill is not liking that. Oh, goodness me. Grills are so deadly with their gun, but unfortunately, once they get lit up, oh, they are in a world of hurt. He's going to ignore the grill and help his team out over here because you don't want them to swing around and get you from the rear. Unfortunately, he couldn't pin that shot. 
But these guys are just kind of, I don't know, sitting in the open. What the heck was that? Goodness me, so free damage coming their way if you ask me. Don't know what happened there. There's a guy coming at the rear, but he's just fired. Dealing with the IS-7, so my buddy turns around. I think that's the right decision. It's 5v3, so he's in a lot of trouble, but he's got two shells, one shell. And here's the problem. He won't be able to take him out, but he will be able to take that guy out. Big mistake there, KPZ. Should have waited, should have waited. And he's going to take a hit, probably, except for the fact that they went for the rear of another tank, which is a wise decision, if you ask me. Now he's got two shells. He's going to go for the grill first. Nice, takes him out. And he's got a second shell that he can use on this guy. Isn't it nice when people completely ignore you and go for other tanks? <laughs> so, I mean, thanks very much. And he traps him in here. The Object 263, I think, did great over there. And now he's just going for the reload. Can he finish him off? Yeah, looked a bit dicey there for a second. But, boom, one shell and the second shell. Boom, he is gone. 4,000 damage in a very nice game. Got a little bit lucky in the sense that the enemy team didn't focus him and focused his teammates. But 4,230? Yeah, take a bow and a mastery. So there you go. The three tanks that will cost you an arm and a leg to pick up. But if you want them, you can get them. I personally will be getting the first tank absolutely free and the second tank I'll pick up, but I won't get it. It fully loaded, which is a shame, unless I maybe find some nice tanks in the store in the coming months or so that I want to add to my garage. Doubtful. Anyway, what do you think of the new tanks? Are you a fan of this season? Which has been your favorite season so far? Do you have a favorite tank so far? I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Snugs on Blitz.